Hello everybody, welcome to the CNA game between France and England. We've got Shawnee 18, the undead legend, up against Pastec, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, with Necromantic. Um, Fymir is in the booth, hello Fymir. Hello everybody, here we are to watch an, uh, two dead teams play. <laughs> um, they're actually very good teams, I like them a lot. Yeah. Clearly, these guys know how to blood bowl. Yes, and um, you could argue nobody knows how to blood bowl as well as Shawnee with Undead. His, his record with them is absolutely ridiculous. He has lost five games with them, though, which is pretty pathetic. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, what is it? It's something like he's played about over 100 games and lost five or something stupid. Yeah, there you go. 111 games. 88, 18, 5. <laughs> That's pretty. In <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty insane record. Okay, okay, I give the guy the guy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Sean is pretty strong with undead. Yes, um, yes, yes. That's absolutely impressive. Yeah, I mean he's great anyway. He's great with everything, Sean. To be fair, but yeah, particularly with undead, he uh, he very much enjoys. Um, so it's, and it's all up to Sean now because uh, England are trailing with two losses and a draw. Um, so we basically need, well not basically, we absolutely just need Shawnee to win this game and then Purple Chess to win um, his game which is Chaos Dwarves versus Kemri, which is probably the worst matchup for Chaos Dwarves. I, b I believe it's probably the worst racial matchup for Chaos Dwarves, so that's not great. But, you know, Sha uh, you know PC can do it for sure and obviously Shawnee can. So um, it'll be interesting. But this could be this could mean that England's hopes are in the gutter if Shawnee loses this. Or even draws it, in fact, which is more likely, isn't it? Like it's now that Pastec knows that he just needs to draw. That's so, uh, Sony is now in the complicated situation that if he wins, still PC has to come to save the day. And if he loses, the country is damned. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> They like the guy that has to shoot the fourth penalty, you know, and must score. Right? <laughs> oh, dear. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Sean, Sean is Gareth Southgate. <laughs> oh, dear. What an insult. Um, is Kemri worse than Lizards? Maybe for Chorfs? Because Chorfs have got the tackle for the Skinks and they've got Claw for the Saurus and it's, like, kind of easier for them to dice. The, the Saur... The lizard men. So... I cannot agree. No, I cannot agree with that. Ah, yeah. No. Oof. I did not find Kenry easy. I think, uh, yeah, lizards are a little better because of the tackle and because they're strength 4. So at least, you know, with some guard in the Chaos Dwarves, you can get 2D. Yeah. But versus the Tomb Guardians, they're strength 5. You need to make a big investment. I think, I think it's a very. I think it's. I think it's maybe. I mean, I, you know, I'm not saying it's definitely, but I think it's maybe. Uh, maybe Chorf's worst ma race from matchup. Yes. Also, if you put a Chorf on every Tomb Guardian, you have four Tomb Guardians base, but you also lose four of your Chorfs. Yeah. So it leaves your team with two, two bulls and a group of friends. Yeah. And all and your and your dwarves are just getting smashed by Mighty Blow every turn. <laughs> so you're not going to have four dwarves stuck on them for long. Probably. Rain is overblown as well against Kemri, I find. I think the thing... You've got to try and make them dodge somehow, haven't you? And it's... You know, it's... It's tough. It's tough. I think it's probably the worst racial matchup. This is live. Yes, or done. This yes. Is live. Let's have a look at... Uh, at uh, what's the NAF stats? Uh oh. Oh, is this Shawnee? This is Shawnee doing that. That was a great hit. <laughs> great hit by Shawnee. Clearly showing why he has that percentage. He knows how to roll dice. <laughs> Oh, 
both teams have a dirty player, big fan. So this well, is sorry. that was a very disappointing foul, but at least not a uh, not as enough. Okay, so in Naf style, Chaos Dwarfs' worst record is against Lizards, and Kemri's twelfth on their list. But that is at like one thousand one hundred usually, isn't it? And this is a bit higher than you usually get on tabletop. So yeah, Kemri not that bad for Chaos in in Naf style, and Lizards are the worst. So there you go. But that is that is only my style. So there you go. <laughs> but it's uh, it it's really really is a really bad matchup. It is not an ass creation or Robinho, but he is you know Yak has been involved to uh, be a nice. <laughs> Chorf's also the twentieth one for them. It makes sense. Point the Chorf Chorf explode. But lizard men are substantially the worst matchup on this, which which you know makes sense, especially like given that it's naff, right? So it's less skills. This there's more skills here. So you get the, you get the claw mighty to uh, fight lizards, which matters a lot more. It's a lot more chance of getting lucky and casting lizards out. Like lizards do a lot worse when they get diced than any other race, basically, don't they? Because losing a, losing a this like losing a Saurus is so impactful. Obviously, losing a Tomb Guardian is really super impactful as well, but at least they've got regen. <laughs> and it's certainly harder to hit the, the Tomb Guardians with Claw Mighty than it is to hit a random Saurus. And you've got six, you know, six guys that can't protect them, whereas with four Tomb Guardians they can try to protect them. Anyway, this is such an exciting game, just totally talking about how hard PC's match is going to be <laughs> instead of this one. But, um, yeah... It's quite hard, isn't it, to advance against Necro a lot of the time when they when they keep like a, a wolf as a sweeper back. It makes it tricky. Obviously, Shawnee isn't good, isn't too contra too concerned with penetrating them um, too quickly. He just wants to mill around halfway. Yes, and want to enjoy to push. all the free hits that they've been offered. Shut up, fuck. <laughs> It came out of Yaxas. It didn't come out of Yaxas. No, it was. It was <laughs> there's lots of things that have come out of Yaxas, but this isn't one of them. <laughs> oh, God. Going for the Roger. Interesting. Maybe he just felt it was so high value that if he gets the power, he's happy. I guess there's no one else to really blitz, is there? Dorna gets stuck on the fleshy, and these hits do themselves. The one in nine. He roll it, I think, maybe. He might, yeah. Bow. I mean, he wasn't saying up a foul because he's got Rodge, so it's like. It's, it's, a, it's a rubbish blitz to take, but there was, there was no one else to blitz, was there? <laughs> That's pretty much it, to be fair. There was just literally no one else who could blitz. <laughs> I guess we'll be thinking of doing a blitz with the wolves, but the dustiest the targets, which are the whites, are a massive... Perhaps. Yeah, he might, he might, he might do the old blitz then dodge away, right? He might, he might, he might do the blitz dodge out on this white. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, he needs a bow because he doesn't get a bow. It's even horrible. <laughs> yeah. 
That's, that's probably looking his best blitz, because he can blitz him, push him to there, and then push him to there, and then dodge out on a 3+. plus. If he blitzes this guy, then... It's kind of more... It's more difficult to blitz this one, really. Yeah, he's just going to blitz without it. Yeah, it wasn't easy to get there. Like, that, that was the right decision to not blitz with a wolf, but still... Being a being a necro coach, you expect them to just yeah, yeah. Trap themselves. <laughs> he has spent one minute thinking about that. <laughs> you expect these necro coaches just to frenzy trap dodge out. And to be fair, I mean it was a high value target. This this would have been I think it would have been fine to blitz him and then dodge out. It wouldn't have been the worst play in the world. Oh, not a Dodge out without Dodge. Yeah, but Necro coaches do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it wouldn't have been as bad as it normally is, is maybe what I should have said. Hello, Stor, baby. Ah, uh, Shoney, not, hit, not hitting with the uh, blockless block at this time. Learned his lesson. Oh, he's got my dice. <laughs> oh yes, Dawes a one climber. <laughs> <laughs> he's climbed <laughs> Mount Wank. <laughs> I'm a little bit behind you because I'm watching on the stream, Jimmy. Obviously, as I'm, I am playing a game, but is this the same necromancer you've got? Because I don't understand. Shawnee's hit the flesh golems and they're still on the perch. <laughs> no, yeah, it's uh, it's been a little bit different on the dice front. Yeah, Sh Shawnee seems to have rolled about as many pushes as I did, <laughs> which hasn't helped. Oh, I can't find the picture, but yeah. There's a there's like Wank Mountain. <laughs> wank Mountain. No, oh, no. You just can't knock anybody over. It just isn't possible. There we go. Instant Elite removal. One. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Guaranteed. Instant removal, but he regens. Two huge regens. Because to be fair, like as bad as this is for Pastek, like he's probably not going to stop the. Touchdown now. He just he doesn't need to score a touchdown, does he? He just needs to score his own touchdown and make it one one. Yep. That's all he has to do, and then his team have won. So it is going to be hard for Shawnee to actually translate this to a win. Uh, though he should definitely score on turn eight now. Almost a formality. Now it's mostly just limiting limiting the hits that his wolves can take. Basically, well, his wolf, his mighty blow wolf. He needs to limit him. Take him out if he can. Take out Ghoul if he can. Region does actually help him. I, mean, I wouldn't go that far, but the point is, it's 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 helping him for this. Like you know, for the for the second half, it's good that they're definitely back. But it's obviously you'd have rather have stopped Shoney this drive, wouldn't he? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's keeping your players on the pitch is always good. Yeah, it's 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 definitely bad for the drive, but but yeah, not that bad for the game because he's probably not stopping Shawnee anyway. To be fair, nobody's probably stopping Shawnee unless they get lucky on defense. So he limited the hit for the mighty blowwolf. <laughs> I mean, first of all, first of all, he blitzed with a ghoul. Oh, hits on the mighty blowwolf. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he need what I, was, what I meant was Shoney needs to limit hits that the Mighty Blow Wolf can make, right? Um, it shouldn't have been a, a thing for Pastek to, to stop him. <laughs> like, th this is ridiculous that he's allowed this hit. <laughs> that shouldn't have ever been a thing. <laughs> That's insane that he's let him hit him. I, I was yes, saying more that, like, Shoney should, you know, Shoney needs to stop the wolf hitting people. I didn't even I didn't think for a second that you would just run him out to get punched. <laughs> Shoney not mighty blowing him though, unbelievable. Restraint positional restraint from Shoney. 
pretty outrageous. Pretty outrageous from Shawnee, really. I think a lot of people would have taken the mighty blow hit there. Yes. And I think maybe I was he thinking have. that was instant, instant uh, blitz with uh, white. Yeah, and I think maybe he should have, right? He's like three players up this drive. So he doesn't really need the positional hits anymore. So I think it was probably right to full greed that hit. Probably. Yeah, I mean, true, obviously, J. Bowser, true. True. Like, nine times out of ten you get away with greeting it. But, yeah, if you only want to lose five games instead of ten, then uh, <laughs> then you don't go for the things that only work nine times out of ten. You go for the things that work 80-odd times. No, 90. 106 times out of 111. <laughs> Yeah, that was, I mean, that was very, very, uh, that was very conservative. Oof. I think I like the follow-up there a yes. lot. Also, I would like to put the... He has All two of hands. Yeah, I mean, he has he two can... reserves. You follow there, right? Yes, and I think the when he hit the surehand the goal, could have put you know one square down, but covered by the guard player. Yeah, but then if you put him there, then then he's setting up the surf on his on his guard, isn't he already? So I, th I could understand that one, but I would have definitely uh, I would have definitely followed the zombie just because he's got two two reserves. I think if he only had one reserve, maybe you don't follow. But I think with two reserves, I think you just follow and let him. Because like that's a great. I think I'm I'm really surprised. Hmm, interesting, because he's not getting in the way of the score either. Like now he can he can run back and screen as well. So I liked it for both scoring and for limiting the damage that the wolf does. It'd be interesting why he didn't uh, why he didn't do that. Couldn't move the rest of the girl over, he needed the three dice, didn't he? Well, wanted the three dice. Yeah, now this guy gets surf, which is weird, isn't it? Like, <laughs> okay, he's lucky and he doesn't get surfed. Oh, and now, <laughs> Shawnee gets to surf him unless he dodges out. <laughs> oh, Shawnee's too good at this game, isn't he? Mr. Surf there, yeah. Outrageous. Outrageous stuff from Sean. Reading the mind of the opponent like an open book. <laughs> Played him like a fucking fiddle. And now he now I guess that because he's round the back for some reason. Well, because he had to because there was a three plus there, wasn't it? And it's four three, so now he's opened up all the space in front. He's got all these guys to come through, so yeah, he'll be he'll be coming hard. He can't surf the ghoul, he has to blitz the wolf. <laughs> Unless you're going to 1 in 9 lose the game. If you think Sean is going to 1 in 9 the ga lose the game, you've got another thing oh. coming. <laughs> I think I want to see Mighty Blow on the wolf, probably. Maybe even wrestle, or maybe even blitz with a, with a ghoul. Yeah, I, th I think maybe the wrestler will blitz rather than the Mighty Blow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Block the wolf for the ball. Nah, nah. Get forward. It's it is turn six still. Wolves are fast. I quite like getting forward here a bit. Shawnee flashlights. Go fuck yourself. Like wolves are super fast. I really like getting forward. I mean, he got, he got offered all that space. We are polite to take it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like moving all these guys up here for sure. Bit of a risky block 
takes it. Doesn't even bother with this. Unbelievable job. Chuggles. Shows dominance. <laughs> I'm just a big fan of blitzing him with the free assist, and it's like, well done, all you've done is give me an assist on my blitz. For free, well done. <laughs> so, I have to say that Obastegas is in a lot of trouble. Mostly of them of his own grace here. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. I hate, I hate. I genuinely hated the not following by Shawnee, but it worked out great with him with his white getting power, didn't it? Wait, who, who's Celtic C, Chugs? <laughs> now I'm really confused. Oh, America, yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, yeah I got it. Now, do something with that ghoul. Does Shawnee surf the wolf here? <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> but, um, it, it's possible, but he, he, I guess he'll just play safe. But you could just bring a guy in, uh, you know, bring in the mummy, and then blitz him, chain him in there, block him, and then surf him. Like he still could, he, he could still he could still do it. I wouldn't hate it. Cause, Cause he could still move the ball one forward and move these two one forward as well. But I, he won't. Yeah, he has got for the score. Yeah, yeah, I knew, I knew he wouldn't, but it, I wouldn't have hated it because obviously, if you surf this guy, if you like, it's it's late, so like, so surf, surfing him on turn seven doesn't matter for the drive. But like, if you cast him and he doesn't regen, it's, it's massive, isn't it? So, yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be one hundred percent safe, which obviously I knew he would be. If he was a streamer, he'd have probably taken the surf. <laughs> How much you? He should have had none. That's how much he should have had. I am a person that also takes Huel sometimes. Really? Oh no. I saw the advert for Huel and it, it says like each each, you know, thing of Huel has got as much eggs as like four eggs or something and it's like, well yeah. I'd rather just eat four eggs. <laughs> No, but it's easy to make and, uh, in the morning for breakfast and something like that. Yeah, shake it, boom, 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 there you go. 400 calories down. Sorted. But it tastes meh. And it's the kind of thing that I have when I'm, when I'm when I'm working. I have the bottle there and I'm just... But that's the job. That's yeah. the, the best thing I can say about this. That's the job. Yeah. It's just like a fancy protein shake, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a protein shake with more stuff. With more or less everything you do. Yeah. Yeah, you could have surfed the wolf if I hadn't lost. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. If we were 2-1 up instead of 2-1 down, then, uh, then he probably would do the surf for fun. Nah, I still don't think he would. Sean, he doesn't play this game to have fun. <laughs> he plays to dominate. Chicken and sweet yeah. potatoes. Yeah. Of course, I mean, anything is going to taste better than Huel. Huel only wins because he's absolutely super quick. <laughs> anything. You know, it, it takes it is anything more than anything. <laughs> 
brilliant. I I thought of an idea that I'm giving away for free now to the world of uh, making a protein shake that was like a protein shake mixed with rice pudding. And I thought that would be fucking amazing because I fucking love rice pudding. <laughs> <laughs> adding, adding the protein, you can add the protein powder to the rice pudding. Yeah, I know you, you can do it yourself, but like I thought you could just like you know make it and then sell it, and it'd be glorious, wouldn't it? <laughs> I thought it'd be a good product to just directly sell, but yeah, I guess people can just put the protein that they want in a thing themselves. But still, yeah, <laughs> I, I add the protein powder to the porridge, and it's like okay, this is not, not, not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> I've got no idea, Volk. Protein desserts. Well, it'd still be just like, you'd still eat it like when you were going to have a protein shake. It's just there'd be sugar in that as well, wouldn't there? Which would be... Yeah, muscle rice. Yeah, I probably thought of calling it something like that as well, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gains rice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is he going to 3D... Without mighty blow? What is this? No, Shawnee, no! Oh! Oh, it's tackle. He's doing it with tackle. Okay. The bow. He might just one turn and lose, though, Volk, if he's taking a leaf out of my book. <laughs> 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 There you go. Easy, easy drive for Shawnee. But those regens mean that the game is far from over. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, amazingly, Shawnee comes out of that half out bashed. <laughs> well, potentially, he comes out of the drive out bashed. Shoney has to win this as well, so like a draw is no good. Yeah, no, Shoney must win. Fuck off, Falk, you know what I mean? If, if those two hadn't regen, then the game would have been not far from over. I know how hard it is to play with one or zero flesh golems. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> oh dear, GFI. <laughs> We could, we could get a fuck off J5 and a fuck off Vulcan. Yes, 125 in the line. I tell you there is a real line of clothes from the protein seller, my protein, which is a, a underwear. You know, with at the front, my protein logo, <laughs> and brass with my protein in the bra part of the bra. So it's like. Mm, <laughs> I really thought about this, you know, covering your cock with something that says my protein. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, written over the Andorran thing. Oh, dear. <laughs> unholy pretend food. There's nothing unholy about it. It'd be fucking brilliant. It would be genuinely great. Like, I have homemade it myself, and I thought. God, if you just made this, I reckon you'd do all right. Shawnee actually doing a one-turn defense, unlike, unlike uh, Chou Blanc. I mean, to be fair, he did the absolute worst possible setup for me, didn't he? Like, he made, he made, he made it yeah, as easy as he it, could. Please. It's not the best, but it's it's better than nothing, isn't it? <laughs> All right, Lemon. Do I need to tell everyone to fuck off? <laughs> we could do a cooking program. 
by blue ball coaches. <laughs> Every program probably will last 30 seconds. <laughs> I will be a guy in front of the microwave. Well, I just open the door, put it on, and that's it. Yeah. I don't know if it's pretty bad. There's some dice to roll, but he's got them. Not yet. Didn't re roll it. Well, I think that's it. Why didn't you re roll it? What a fucking idiot. No offense to Pastec, of course, but. You've got to re roll that, buddy! <laughs> There's not, you know, that's objectively the absolute wrong thing to do. He had to re roll there. Misclick, maybe? I guess so. Probably, or maybe autopilot. Also, he had to move somebody in first, didn't he, to, to this square? Or not? I don't know. I might do a cooking series. I was thinking of doing a cooking series, to be fair. Um, start off with chicken and rice. Haven't thought about episode two yet. <laughs> rice and chicken. <laughs> oh yeah, chicken and rice, then rice and chicken. Yeah, that's, that's it. There's two episodes. And if you add broccoli, you can even add you know, many more programs. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, poached egg. The, the perfect ratio of three eggs to two toast. <laughs> so I was cheeky last night. Last night I just randomly thought about poached eggs. So I had two poached eggs and one slice of toast. And it was still fucking good, to be fair. But I do like Dimmy's ratio of three to two. Chicken stuffed with rice. And he stays out, so yeah, Shawnee comes out of that half outbashed, despite making two cars. Ridiculous. Oh, regeneration. Winning games in the 80s. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Johnny Five. Every time I look at the chat, it's like uh, <laughs> we're getting one step away from the light of God. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's got come on the brain now, hasn't he, Jeff? <laughs> <Here> we <go. laughs> he's got. He can't think of anything else. Oh dear. Yeah, red hair. Yes, yes. That, that, that's what you want people to sing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Omelet. Yeah, omelet's pretty nice. To be fair, yeah. Omelets and omelets are nice as well, but I think I think poached eggs are the best way to egg, especially if you do them perfectly, which I do every time, just quietly. <laughs> yes, fun works me. me. <laughs> Oh god, I can't, can't say that. Oh dear. Yeah, that's pretty good, Volk. Do you know Volk. what? Now, I, I remembered something today and it made me chuckle to myself. Um, I was thinking that either somebody on here or somebody that I, that I worked with or somebody I knew in real life in some way or somebody on the telly, but somebody somewhere he would go out with a girl and as soon as he started going out with her, told her that it was his birthday soon. <laughs> so that he'd get her, so he'd get a present off her. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. And he did it well, all the time. That's proper short term dating. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? And I and I don't know if it was. It could have been somebody on here, but I just I remember hearing it, and I've got no idea it, where. It did work perfectly with the kind of chat we have here. So yes. Yeah, it could have been uh, a Johnny uh, Five uh, thing, couldn't it? It could have definitely uh, been a J Five thing. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Oh dear. <laughs> Fuck's sake, all done. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just stop? The <laughs> Can we just drop the cum now, please? <laughs> Sonny is going to be so delighted he when he watches the board. Oh, 
Oh, wow, there you go, tier 5. Maybe I just read it on Reddit. On Reddit. That seems really boring, though. That seems really boring. There's a few people that I know that I could imagine doing it. <laughs> and there's a few people that I know who would know people who did it. Yeah, dump both to avoid avoid getting them presents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's quite that's quite reasonable. <laughs> oh no! J five with the knowledge. Oh, are we providing the fact? More than 35 women at once to get birthday gifts. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> it's kind of surprising that he got arrested though, isn't it? Still, is, is that a legal red hair? Because I mean, we ha we have Tories. <laughs> That's like for, all them, <laughs> for them every day is a birthday. Yeah, <laughs> That's all our government does. <laughs> That's literally all our government does. Comes into fraud. Wow. Oh, here we go. Sean is splitting the team. He's going for that win. Sean going for the win. Oh, baby. I mean, he's got to go for the win. But uh, is he blitzing here? To get these three round eat more easily? It means a non block blitz, which Sean won't like. Yeah, I know he's going to put the assist in and blitz with a guy. Yeah, fair enough. He could have got that guy a bit further if he'd waited. But he goes for the more conservative route. I think I prefer blitzing, you know, going the higher risk. But of course, if you go higher risk, you don't lose only 5 games and 111 games. <laughs> Head <laughs> you know when they were selling the shower heads, I say, "What a pickaxe the game!" You know. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> so with how we are in Japan with toilets and all that, the shower heads must be, you know, <laughs> absolutely spectacular. <laughs> Oh, so he just leaves this guy. Oh, he just leaves him standing. Is he standing or is he down? I can't see. They're so standing, small. He's standing. He's standing. Yeah, he's standing. They're so small. These ghouls. They look like fucking snotling size. Interesting. Just leaving him stood there. <laughs> yes, J Five. So this is a little bit tricky, isn't it? I like this from Sean. He has to push. He has to push it more than he'd like to push it. And uh, so you know, maybe he wouldn't have been this rowdy normally. And he hasn't been super rowdy. He hasn't been as rowdy as he could have been. He could have definitely just blitzed with a with this mummy, and because he ended up in the same square that he would have been in after blitzing. And then this guy could have been further down, and this guy could have been further down. Wow, opening up a one in nine, unbelievable. Oh, he's 
<laughs> Stop. <laughs> Jesus. This shower head can, uh, can spit out 100 milliliters of liquid <laughs> per second. And I've got something else that does the same. Oh, double scans. Yeah, with, uh, you can add the moisturizer. <laughs> he was going to do the dodge blitz as well, but he got pal. <laughs> Look at dog. Maybe he wasn't gonna. Maybe he wasn't gonna dodge away after the blitz, but he was gonna do it anyway. That was a frenzy trap, wasn't it? That was a two into a one. Yep. For fuck's sake! What can you do against such dice? Andy had to power him. Andy could have bought down and been wrestled. Oh man. Looking grim for Shawnee. This could be an absolute an absolute disaster for Team England here. This could end up well, it can't end up as a loss really for Shawnee. Can't really end up as a loss, but it's gonna be hard to win. Really hard to win. And he's got this 1D, hasn't he? And he's got 2D and a 2D there, so he could... He can maybe 2D him and open this up. Maybe he can do something, but... There is some dice involved, but uh, yeah, he has a good shot. With the mummy, the zombie and the ghoul. Yeah. He's got this ghoul as well. From free, potentially. Yeah, and he's got a guard in there, yeah. Oh, nice KO, because that, that opens up space as well. That doesn't matter, does it? You can you can just push down here and follow. <laughs> and get the guard in there. Hard though, isn't it? He needs. He really needs to just remove this guy. It's not easy to hit the ball. He's well, he's probably just realised now that he can't hit the ball, and he's maybe just going to give up. Is he going to come around the back? Is he going to hit the fleshy first? Oh, is he just going to block him and then blitz the wolf? That could be. Yeah, that's... Oh, God, no, he's doing a 1D. It's not a 1D, it was a 2D. Why did I think it was a 1D? Hmm. Well, that was terrible, wasn't it? In terms of dice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would have been a power. That would be very, very, very interesting. Yeah. It was already 2D. I, I didn't realise. Yeah, he's had guard, so he cancelled his just there. So if he powered, he could have got. But then there was guard there, so he was, he was never really going to do a lot of... He was never really going to get a good hit on the ball. So maybe he should have just blitzed the wolf with mighty ball. And then hit the back guy out. But um, he's got he's got men around. He's, ma he's making it difficult, isn't he? But... And I guess at the end of the day, if, if it goes wrong and Pastec can stall out, it just, just doesn't matter, does it? You know, it, it doesn't matter if, he, if it's... He just has to win, so he has to, like, go a bit too aggro and has to play a bit of crap. Fuck's sake, J5. <laughs> oh my god. 
I couldn't either, J5, to be honest. Oh, oh. God. Not the, not the day to be an Englishman here. <laughs> Absolute dicing confirmed. I wonder if Shawnee has hit the early GG. It's not that early anymore. <laughs> the good thing is, Pastek might go for the win, but it's really stupid to go for the win. Well, maybe not, because he still has to score. So maybe now, Shawnee just brings everyone back and hopes he gets like a you know a five plus into the cage or whatever. Because, like, he'd better score, right? Like, you know, he can't score early because Shawnee can still win if he scores it. So it's it's suicide to score early. He has to score in turn eight. Yep. So now Shawnee He has to wait just... as much as possible. <clears throat> yeah. So now Shawnee probably has to change strat and has given up on, like, obviously he's not going to turn him over and score now. Um. So now maybe he just has to change strategy and just has to try and hope for a... You know, stay in front of him and hope for a stupid ball sack attempt. Try a low odds play. Maybe I should have tried a low odds play uh, earlier. Because while I didn't have to win. I kind of had to win because, you know, we knew that uh, we knew that PC was in dire straits in his racial matchup. Oh, baby. Only one reroll left or Vastekis. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't that bad for Shawnee. As, as horrible as it is losing a mummy, being down all these players. Like, it's terrible, but it's not that bad. <laughs> and that's a big block freeing up two guys. You can get essentially an easy hit on the ball here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Double GFI. So you can get two dice on the ball. It's not great. Maybe he doesn't go for it because it is. It is a bit crap, isn't it? Maybe he just tries to be conservative now. Blitz with a wrestle bill yeah. and just run back everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of school. Completely shitting on pants is definitely a British, well, English sporting tradition. <laughs> but I think in this case it was the dice. The dice didn't help us. And I think given the given the racial matchups, I don't think we were really favoured against the French this round. Oh yeah, screw! Don't say that. Don't say that in my cheat. People will take in my cheat in my chat. People will take it the wrong way and demand apologies. Oh, well, there you go then. But still, I'm not apologising for it. <laughs> I'm not apologising <laughs> for anything Skuro says. <laughs> No, no, no. It would be endless. <laughs> Ooh, Dub Skull, he's out oh. with rerolls! Oh. oh, baby! Oh, there's a chance. 
Uh, now Sony. Has the advantage here if he manages just to create so anything of complicated situation. That's it. <laughs> That's a lot of time to be without rerolls. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, to be fair, England are good at sports. Like, to be, like, you know, if it's such a small country. <coughs> small country, like 60 million people. Yeah, but compared to, like, Germany and China and. <laughs> <laughs> you know, America and Russia, you know, we're small. We do all right at the Olympics and stuff, don't we? In the football, we do okay. You know, compared to Brazil, we're small. Aren't we? <laughs> yeah, that's true. England haven't won, a, haven't won a baseball World Series. That's very true, yeah. Yeah, it's small landmass. Yeah, very small landmass. England itself is smaller than most fucking states in America, isn't it? <laughs> in landmass. <laughs> you can say that of that you can say that of most countries. Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> That's a World Series. Yeah, I love it when after the Super Bowl they, they call whoever won it World Champs, and it's like, oh fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah like... Don't call them world champs. Call them like, you know, NFL champs or Super Bowl champs or whatever. But don't call them world champions. It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> there is you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like, you know, the NFL and all that, just local teams, you know. But it's not, you know, world class to, you know, face players from all over the world. So, yeah, Tom Brady, lucky guy, you know, but he has a small pool of players. <laughs> yes, exactly, J5. Like, obviously, I've heard that argument before. Like, there's no, you couldn't make another team that could beat them. But still, it's still, uh, it's still just stupid calling them world champs. <laughs> Fucking Skurrol. What a dickhead. <laughs> Skurrol's going full PC here as well, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> if anyone exactly knows. Tom Brady, you know, it's only, only American football. That's okay, you know. College students play it. It's like. Yeah. If, if anyone knows doesn't know Skuro, he's like the least person in the world who would be like patriotic and stuff and be like, yeah, America. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> That's the joke from Skuro. <laughs> I wonder if Brady could make it in a proper sport. Um, That's a good question, PC. Yeah, I wonder if there's any other sport that he could have... Darts, maybe? Same kind of thing, innit? <laughs> Darts is the same kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I mean, of course you couldn't J5, but like... Okay, that's brought me online, just to tell you I'm still laughing at darts and Tom Brady. <laughs> Good. <laughs> balance for it, has he? Imagine if you had Maybe. darts. Imagine imagine if you combined, right, NFL and darts so that darts had to, like, had, they had to throw the darts as somebody was charging towards them. <laughs> that, that would make it more interesting, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> I can say that many of those guys I already trained on that playing on pubs. <laughs> oh, man, that would be incredible. <laughs> A guy from Scotland's about to be the highest paid NFL player. I've got no idea. What the no, hell? Blue, but it's from, you know, actual Scotland or is what the American consider being a Scotty? She's probably like his, uh, the <laughs> nanny of his grandmother was a Scottish or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Patrick Mahomes, isn't it? Surely, surely he's, he's, no, one, no one's going to beat him for being the highest paid. <laughs> Tom McBrady. McBrady's never been near the highest paid, has he? Because he's always he's always taken on for the team and, uh, and like got paid less than he should have been paid. I mean, he might have still been top paid one season. 
Tom, Tom, Tom Brady knows he's overrated. He can accept the money. Like, no, I'm not good enough. <laughs> yeah, he's still way up there. I mean, he, he can't not be way up there, but he still, he still never got paid as much as he should have been paid, did he, basically? For the team. Now, in ads, promotions and all that, the amount of money that Tom Brady can make is absolutely crazy. Yeah, yeah, Giselle's got more money than he has, doesn't she? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, house husband. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's she's loaded. Yeah. Ah, uh, he's played Scottish athlete. Yeah, no. fair enough. They they changed it, didn't they? Because I was thinking if he was going to get drafted, he wouldn't be. You know, he's not going to be. Because there was a time when people got drafted and got paid insane money, didn't they? But then after one too many busts, the NFL were like, "Fuck this, <laughs> <laughs> fuck this." Rookies aren't going to get paid too much anymore. <laughs> Yeah, highest paid Scottish athlete. I mean, he's almost the only Scottish athlete, isn't he? The world's strongest man, Scottish now. Um, yes, yes. Uh... But unfortunately, the world's strongest man probably gets paid like in iron brew. <laughs> like, there's not a lot of money in it, is there? No, there are money, but uh, for the amount of effort, risks, and uh, injuries, and all that, is like. And you need to be very, very at the top. Have mm. sponsorships and all that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, PC, yeah. Yeah, that, that is what it was, for the good of the game. Exactly, like college football. Don't pay the <laughs> players. Don't pay the players. Charge insane amount of money for the tickets, the shirts, and everything. Pay everybody millions, but the players. <laughs> yeah. You know, to keep the, the game pure. <laughs> yeah, that's literally what happened, Steve. Though it's literally what happened. I think I think it was Jamarcus Russell that was like the the straw that broke the camel's back because he got he got paid an absolute fucking fortune and then just like played about a season. <laughs> he like played about a season for about forty million pound, <laughs> which is pretty good if you can do it, isn't it? Hey! Oh no, it's Shawnee! Shit! Oh no, oh. 1 in 81. Honestly, Pastex runs out of rerolls and then it's Shawnee that's, who's the first one to fail any rolls. Ridiculous. Yeah, most people don't get a second contract, do they, in the NFL? Most people in the NFL just never get a second contract. They get a. They get their rookie. Like, most people. Get the rookie contract and that's it, they're done. So it's pretty brutal. Like it's easy to look at the people like, you know, Peyton Man thing and Patrick Mahomes and stuff and, and think that they get paid a fortune, but most people don't get paid that much. And they don't get paid for very long. No, well, and in fact most of them end up being bankrupt and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And also like they have they're not I guess they're more educated than football players, aren't they? Soccer players, if you're American. If, <laughs> but, but like, you know, because they do go to college and that, don't they? But um, Yeah, but the college is rigged. I mean, they put them in ridiculous, stupid courses, you know, that they don't have to study or anything like that. Yeah. And uh, the player sends, you know, like, uh, I have a degree in Swahili, <laughs> uh, ping pong, or something like that. I watched a documentary about that, and it was absolutely outrageous, you know, the... Yeah degrees that they get but i mean that's still better than like dropping out of school when you're seven to play football constantly isn't it <laughs> that's true yes i've been playing american football i've been playing uh, since high school and even earlier mm. so it's not like they got any education anyway yeah. yeah average nfl career three years yeah yeah the, the average the average nfl player just doesn't get a second contract from from their uh from the rookie one which obviously isn't that lucrative. All right, so here we go. Shawnee has not much chance. <laughs> not much chance, unfortunately. He's got this. He's got this rackler. He could three plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I don't oh, know, so he could three plus five plus in, I guess. And then he could four plus three plus for the assist. 
and but he's still in your current code. So you could three plus, three plus, four plus GFI. One, two, three, four. yeah, so that's what he was going for, that's why he did this dodge. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's one in nine, and yeah, you know. Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's what he's going to go for. He's going to dodge him out for the assist and then yeah. dodge him all around. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what, what the average football career is or anything, you know. Like, obviously, everyone looks at people like Wayne Rooney, but God knows, uh, God yeah, knows they, they, what they, the average footballer gets, you know. Yeah, Vasa with the fact there, 3 one in nine. <laughs> Yeah, pretty It's going to be 10 in 19. So that is it for, for England. Two wins and two draws for France. And, you know, PC is good, but he can't win two games in one. <laughs> Very complicated. It's difficult. It's difficult. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you know... It was, it was always going to be difficult. It was always going to be difficult because it was going to be difficult for Shawnee and Rick to win. And it was going to be difficult for me to win. You know, obviously I ended up losing, but like... Maybe if Shawnee hadn't gone for the win as much, you'd have had a better chance of getting the win later, you know? Um, but yeah, it was... It was like, it was always going to be tough because it wasn't easy for me or Shawnee or Rick to win. And obviously it was always going to be really hard for, for Miss Bell Tree and Purple Chest to win just due to the horrible matchup, racial matchups. So it was, it was always going to be a tough round. We didn't have any real advantages in, in any of the games. We are not eliminated, no. Um, so we have won, we won against Spain, lost against France. So now we will play against the rest of Europe. And we can still potentially go through in third place. That, that more or less resumes the whole history of uh, England. <laughs> fighting Spain, fighting France, and then the rest of Europe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, almost everyone gets through, yeah. Yeah, this is round robin, so yeah. So we'll, we'll play the rest of Europe, which, you know, we'll probably match up well against it, against them, I think. I think, I think France have gone through, because France will, I think France won the first round against the rest of Europe. So they've got two wins, so they're, they're probably all definitely through. But I think Spain might have had two losses. I don't know, I don't know how Spain is doing against the rest of Europe. So the rest of Europe might be on a win no loss. And we'll be on a win no loss. And then maybe Spain will be on two losses. But then Spain could win the last round against France. And then, you know, so there could be... There could be, th like, you know... So one win and two losses could qualify, potentially. So who knows? Spain might be done, maybe not. Well, Lemon is good, more or less. A lot of countries also did that, you know. Spain also went to a lot of places. Yeah. Yeah. Usually but... with better weather than the places the English used to went, you know, but... Yeah, yeah there's been a lot of that, hasn't there, with the... Uh, over the years, the various European nations. Due to, uh, due also, to let's not forget that all the teams playing here are just mere subdivision of the National Welsh team, which englobes the whole planet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is the National Welsh tournament, which involves all the planet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would. Whenever anybody wins something in Wales, they should call them world champions. <laughs> <laughs> Did England get hastened? Hmm. Tough group. <laughs> oh, well, holy shit. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, is Shawnee going to get the one turn? I mean, he could. Yes. Could he? With this many players, he probably needs a quick snap. He should probably settle for a quick snap. Because he's got, like, no players left. He's gone the same way as me, me just getting millions of cars and absolutely screwed. So he gets him one forward straight away, doesn't he? And then this guy comes up and passes to him. Which gets... Now is the time for a riot. For the English fans do what they do best. <laughs> So you go one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, I don't know. Just set up for a riot, I think. Yeah, not even a not even a quick snap, just set up for a riot. That's how bad it is. Perfect defense. No, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> screwed. Well, there you go. Congrats, friends. What's he doing? That's his thing. End the fucking turn, man. <laughs> They must be joking on the chat. I mean, if not, this doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to claim the win here. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a There you go. Sorry, Team England. You know where my loyalties really lie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think you played a bit rowdier than you than you would have liked to, right, Shawnee, to just knowing that you had to get the win. I feel like if you were just playing a normal game, you wouldn't have gone so rowdy, splitting it in two. But I feel like you had to, and you just got unlucky, yeah. But, uh, yeah. No, congrats, Justicium and, and Team France. There you go, Team France gets the victory. Yeah. And uh, commiseration, Shawnee. Uh, thank you very much, Fimeo, for the commentary, as always, absolutely It's always cool. a pleasure. Now it starts the stage, classic stage in English sports, of blaming the last person to lose, so everybody will start blaming Shawnee very soon. <laughs> yeah, thank God, thank God Shawnee lost to take the heat off of me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>